has a very valid question. Very often we think about this question. She says, what is the right amount of profit acceptable to make in the course of trade as Muslims? What is it? Is it 20%, 40%, 100%, more or less? There is no certain percentage. The Sharia did not specify the percentage of the profit. Why? It left it open according to the people's customs and according to the amount of effort that is put in the trade or the merchandise or the transaction. For instance, somebody bought a property. He bought it 10 years ago. He bought it for 1 million. And now after 10 years, it has become worth 2 million. That's a profit of 100%. Imagine if the Sharia put a limit that the profit is 10%. So after 10 years, this guy must sell it only for 100,000 100, extra. That is not fair. But there are guidelines. The guidelines are presented in the most fascinating hadith with regards to business transaction in Islam, in which the Prophet ﷺ says, <coughs> Excuse me. Rahimallahu rajulan samhan. إذا باع وإذا اشترى وإذا اقتضى May Allah have mercy. The Prophet ﷺ is praying for a merchant who is easy going, who is kind, who is gentle in dealing with his customers. إذا باع, if he sells, وإذا اشترى, if he buys, وإذا اقتضى, whenever he collects the debt. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned those who cheat either in weight or in measure in trade, in selling, in buying, by saying, وَيْلٌ لِلْمُطَفِّفِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا اكْتَالُوا عَلَى النَّاسِ يَسْتَوْفُونَ وَإِذَا كَالُوهُمْ أَوْ وَزَنُوهُمْ يُخْسِرُونَ أَلَا يَظُنُّ أُولَئِكَ أَنَّهُمْ مَبْعُوثُونَ لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ أَوْ مَا يَقُومُ النَّاسُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Look, whom are you dealing with? For dealing with Allah. You believe in Allah, you believe in the last day on which you will be standing by Allah without a lawyer, without a defendant, without defense, without anybody to argue on your behalf. So you have to prepare for this day. You know that the people are weak and poor and cannot afford that. So 20% is fair? Fine. Or the average profit percentage is 20, 30, 40, but exaggerating seeing somebody from out of town come into the market he doesn't know so you think that he's a stranger he asks you how much is it and this is only a hundred worth a hundred and this is what you're selling it for your maximum goal was to sell it for a hundred but this guy doesn't know so you tell him that 150 he buys it and he is happy that's called cheating and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says man ghasha falaysa minna the beautiful Imam, the great Imam, Al Imam Al A'zam, Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, was not only a, an Imam in fiqh, he was also a successful merchant. He used to trade in silk. Whenever a woman came to sell some fabric and he said, Take this for, for that much, he says, No, it's worth more than that. And he kept doubling and tripling the price. Why? Because he thought that the, the merchandise that she's selling is uh, worth more than what she was offering. So he paid more. Can we have people, true Muslim merchants, who deal with others according to that? Hopefully. This is the true Islam. Because the Prophet ﷺ said that the real practice of the deen is in being well-mannered with people. Deenu husnul khuluq. And the closest people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, ahsanuhum akhlaqa. Those who will have the best manners in selling, in buying, in trade, in dealing with others, a time of anger, a time of pleasure, and with friendship, or even in case of enmity, and so on. May Allah guide us to what's best.